Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, I'm going to cover the preliminary patch notes of patch 0.12.4. They've just been released. There is a few different things that were from the podcast review or a little bit more things in detail. So uh, I'll cover all that kind of stuff and hopefully try and make this video as short as possible. So guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So here we have the patch notes that were just released. Uh, it starts off with the added parts. So interchange location has been reworked. This is all the uh, footage that we saw in the latest Tarkov TV, including the lighting has been updated. Uh, new interactive objects, uh, new location exfils. So the power switch that's uh, been, act like been added to the power station, as well as there's three new extracts. Uh, various problems with culling physical colliders have been fixed. That's a common issue throughout the whole entire game. Uh, the new mechanics for overweight, the character receives various debuffs while carrying a certain amount of weight, uh, increased equipment noise, movement speed limits, increased stamina uh, consumption, etc. So this is what we saw in the Tarkov TV live podcast. Uh, I'll put a link down to below for the video there um, so you guys can actually see all the stuff that was uh, included in that. Um, so you're not actually just getting double tapped with all this information. Uh, the fatigue effect debuff has been added, which appears if the character keeps the stamina at a low level for a long time. And if you, energy consumption is increased with this effect. So if you are constantly sprinting and you're keeping your stamina bar really low, you're going to need to eat more often. The uh, character's stamina indicator is divided into arms and legs. The arm stamina is consumed when aiming, throwing grenades, and fighting with melee weapons. The leg stamina is consumed when during sprinting, jumping, changing body positions, etc. Also, the leg stamina starts to drain when the hand stamina drops to zero. So uh, it's still like that's the one part that I didn't really cover in the in the Tarkov TV podcast uh, review. Um, you did see it in the video a little bit though. If you're aiming down sight, gets to the uh, end of the hand stamina, it does start draining the leg stamina after that. So it's kind of like a, a top up bar you can get. Uh, the two new grenades being added, the VOG 17 and the VOG 25. One's got a two second uh, fuse time, the other one's got a two and a half. Uh, the trading flea market inventory buttons have been added to the bottom panel of the interface for quick access. So it's permanently down the very bottom. So when you're in your uh, inventory stash, you can actually uh, just quickly go, oh, I want to go to the flea market. And you don't have to press escape and go through traders to get there. A really good quality of life update. New weapon mods. We saw some of them during the podcast around the SVD, but there's meant to be uh, some other ones. There were some red handles and red stock for AK-545 variants as well. Actually, it might even work on the 762. New character sets for customization and equipment. There's the two bear, the two USEC, and the scav um, Olympic shirt rusher. So... Um, We've already seen the footage from that. You can check it out in the, the previous video. New body armor, tactical vest, ba backpack, helmet, and active sets. All uh, that we've already spoken about in the previous video. Grenade case. It's a 64 case uh, spot uh, ca case for grenades. New barter loot and new trading sch schemes requiring this loot. Um, so they added the new clothing materials that you can use to barter trade for different rigs. Um, so that's going to be added with this next patch. New quest with new outfits as a reward. That is interesting. We don't know what those are yet. That actually could be something along the lines of kill Rishala 100 times. We don't know yet. I actually really hope that they do every single scav boss as kill for 100 times just so we can have that little bit extra uh, grindiness for the end game for just something for us to do so people will have no lines like myself. Optimization, minor lighting optimizations, minor decal optimizations, various service stable uh, optimization this is a legitimate copy pasta from every single other patch notes there's a big bunch of various fixes nothing that's too crazy mostly just stuff like inventories are uh, inventory bugs and hideout bugs that would just increase quality of life because you hopefully won't get as many mistakes and errors and issues with that i'm uh, going over to the change which is actually the the more important parts that uh, we don't that we we should really care more about so the stimulants are uh, paramounts Right. The stimulant parameters have been adjusted. Debuffs became weaker. So they talked about this during the podcast that some of the stims will actually have more of an effect, but less of a debuff. So at the moment, you really sap a lot of your uh, energy and um, and hydration. So that's actually going to get reduced quite considerably. But you'll have the benefits of our really cool stims. So this might be a way of getting around some of the issues with weight. The weight of various items have been adjusted. So... To my understanding, they might have changed the, the battery, the, the tank battery from 60 kilo, maybe down to like 40 or something. So at least you have an opportunity to walk out 
um, without being immediately over the hugely over overweight tumblement thing. Um, who knows which ones have changed, but hopefully that's uh, more balancing it out. The other option is they have is when they make it so when you're over 60 kilo, they could make it that it could be 65 kilo, 70 kilo. Um, we'll have to wait and see how. I think that's one of the ones that they're going to actually be changing a lot uh, initially with the, the feedback from the player base. The flea mark is now available from the 15th PMC level, was level 5. This actually is a pretty interesting change because the flea market actually makes the game very casual friendly, which I don't think is a bad idea. I don't really know how much of an effect this is going to have on the majority of the player base, except for post wipe where the majority of players are low level. Um, so you won't be able to just go, hey, I'm going to get you know my five Salewas off the flea market or get my uh, shotguns off the flea market. So honestly, this will probably be a little bit more punishing for people just starting. Actually, not a little bit, a lot more punishing, but could be interesting. Um, I feel like what's going to end up happening is after a while, there's going to be a really slow like, push of people getting to level 15, and then people will be getting level 15, and it'll be like, bam, bam, bam. All those quests that they had stacked up that like they needed 3M armors for or whatever, the ones that were getting stuck on, there'll be like players will just be surging through the levels. Um, because they've kind of held on to those ones from there. I don't think it's going to be like a major game-breaking kind of change. It's definitely in the track of them trying to slow down progression, which isn't always the worst, but um, like I said, have to wait and see. More reflex sites uh, marks were downscaled, Aimpoint, Romeo, and Trigicon. More if, hmm. I, I feel like that one, what they're trying to say is the actual the laser might be a little bit like... Not as obvious to see, but I feel like that might actually be a negative thing. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Accuracy values of weapon char characteristics are now displayed in minutes of angle. Uh, this is probably going to mean a little bit to nothing to a lot of people, but the gun nuts might get really excited over this one. Uh, we added a weapon name. We added a weapon name to the standard weapon presets, which they relate to. Okay, fair enough. So that is pretty much the entirety of the patch notes. I, I, there's not really that much new towards... Uh, well, different to the, the podcast review that I did, um, mostly in these changes section down the bottom. Uh, I'll put a link down below to the patch notes. I want to try and keep this video nice and short for you guys. Hopefully, uh, you guys you know, might have uh, got a little bit more insight in some of the things going on. So, guys, once again, thanks for watching another video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. I do stream on Twitch every day of the week, so go down the link below. Give me a follow there. If you've got any tarkov questions, feel free to hit me up my live stream or down in the comments below. And lastly, I'll see you next time. Ba ba da ba da ba da ba 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 ba